three, two, one, zero. And ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with the Solar Dynamics Observatory, learning why our star is changing our lives. Operating levels at 100% thrust on the Marty 180. Beautiful dynamic disturbance of the 30 seconds of position. This is where we accelerate the smooth way. Upbound going into closed loop control on Atlas PU. And we try to close loop control on the Atlas propellant utilization system. Engine operating pressures continue to look good. Flight control data is smooth as expected for this portion of atmospheric flight. Coming up on Mach 1. vehicle is now supersonic, approaching max dynamic pressure. Everything is looking good. And we are hitting max Q. PU is controlling as expected, engine operating as expected. Everything looking good. And the vehicle continues right down the center of the range track. We are 12 miles in altitude, 11 miles down range, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. Start Atlas Propulsion and Hydraulic Securing. And vehicle Backing. has transitioned to 95% so thrust as expected. EC system securing. is continuing to control as expected. And we are now at 50% of our liftoff weight. Engine continues to operate as expected at 95% thrust. Center pneumatics, LC. Yeah, approaching our center pneumatics. Start center pneumatic. Closed loop steering phase. We, and we have entered that. And we fired the power valve, activating or pressurizing the reaction control system on Centaur. Booster can you just perform nominally. Can we see normal PU control? Flight control parameters are nice and smooth. Vehicle's accelerating at 3.6 Gs. We know 38 miles in altitude, 83 miles downrange, traveling at 6,600 miles per hour. Flight control parameters look good. Vehicle now weighs 25% of its liftoff weight, and we've entered our constant 5G throttling phase. The RD-180 is compensating to maintain 5Gs of acceleration as expected. We have started boost phase chill down, introducing fuel to the RL-10 engine to condition it for operation. Fifty-six, so sixty-six miles in altitude, one hundred ninety-five miles downrange, at eleven hundred three, 